Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate, home ownership, and community related. Well, today we are kicking off a series. I am going to have a number of local entrepreneurs and business owners joining me uh, to talk about their business and how they got started and hopefully provide you with a little inspiration if there's something that you are passionate about. You know, maybe you will be the next one to start your own business. So this week I have joining me Anthony Fosman. He is the owner of Ultimate Auto Detailing. And welcome to the program, Anthony. Thank you, Tracy. So thanks Pleasure. so much. Yes, thanks for joining me. I know I have been, so this is like, I'm coming up on four years that I've oh, been wow. doing this podcast, and I know you and I have chatted several times, and yes. we've been trying to get you on the program for so long, but you are a busy man, aren't you? I'm a little bit busy, yeah. but I'm, I'm very grateful that our, our schedules coincided, and yes. I'm, I'm glad to be here today and yeah. talk a little bit about what I do and yep. answer any questions the public may have. And yeah. And go from there. Well, I am so, so happy to have you on. Um, you are somebody, like, I've known you for a number of years. I know yes. your family. Yep. And, I mean, you are just, you're a good human, you know, Thank in you. addition to a great business owner. And um, I know you helped me out quite a few years ago. I, I was going to tell this story. So, you know, whenever I come home from my parents' house, my mom is always giving me food, right, to bring home. And she has her famous chicken noodle soup. And, ooh, I was so excited, had it in, you know, set it down. And, well, apparently I didn't have the lid on <laughs> well enough. And I had chicken noodle soup all over the front of my of my Jeep. And as much as I tried to clean it up and get the smell of the chicken noodle soup out, I was unsuccessful. But you came to the rescue yep. <laughs> and took care of it. And it was like, wow, like brand new. Like <laughs> the inside of my Jeep was like brand new. So those were the I, early days. Too. Those were, I remember those that. Were, yeah. I, I remember that. Yeah. That much. was before you had your your actual building and you used to do it out of your home yes. and um yeah but I mean you were excellent back then and even better now so yep. <laughs> I know firsthand <laughs> but uh but so tell us a little bit yeah so so tell us about that how how you got started how you how did you get to where you are sure so yeah. as as we just talked about uh I started out of my parents garage yeah um before that though I was working at uh, Mr. C's car wash up up on Lapeer Road um you know, we we managed everything, and uh, I I very I worked very closely with the d the detailing department, and it, it seemed like every other day uh, a client would tell me, "Why don't you do this on your own?" You know, you you seem like you're a little bit different than than the rest of the people working here in terms of your work ethic and and your your level of perfection. Yeah. And I I guess I just never listened to them until one day I decided, you know what? What what's the worst that could happen? Right. I uh, I reached out to a few people who I thought would be interested in in my services, and you know, heavily discounted, of course, yeah. for, for my first. <laughs> I I wanted to to prove myself more than anything, mm -hmm. and uh, I I just kind of kept it rolling from there. Yeah. You know the the look on the client's face, knowing that it was a hundred percent me that achieved those results for them. Yeah. And just just seeing them light up when they would open the door. It, it meant everything to me. And I said, how do I keep chasing this feeling? And, and how do I keep this going? So, you know, yeah, I, I, I'd love to say it was uh, snap to me owning a shop, but, but the in-between was, I don't want to say grueling because I loved every second of it, but it was 24-7 learning yeah. what I'm doing. You know, I, I very quickly advanced my skills and, and I very much attribute that to a lot of my work ethic from Mr. C's. Yeah. You know, I, I learned how to work hard and because it was such a fast paced environment, I just took that to my own business and and from there, you know, I, I met a lot I met a lot of mentors along the way who kind of helped steer me in the right direction. I've I've taken countless training classes even up to this year. Yeah. You know, I, I'm I'm not somebody who believes uh, perfection exists, but I believe you can get really close to it with yeah. enough practice. And so I'll, I'll, I'll never be one to say, you know, I've perfected this skill. I've perfected that skill, but I like to think I'm getting close, Yeah. you know, and, uh, the, the help of the trainings, I, I go all over the country, uh, Kentucky, California, um, all over Michigan. Wow. And you know, it's every time I go, I just get another boost of confidence and, yeah. and add a, add a skill to my tool belt. And, and then I share that with my clients and, you know, it's just a reciprocating process from there. And 
Yeah. I'm, I'm always learning. So. Well, and I think that's important. Well, always learning, um, you know, always improving ourselves. I mean, yes. that's that's an important skill to carry through life. In, the life skill, in, exactly. Right, in, yep. in anything that we do. Mm. Um, but it's exciting too, isn't it? Yes. I mean, you know, I, I don't understand, you know, and I tried to teach my kids this, which, um, you know, my daughters, they've got it. My son, he's still in high school, but you know, like you have to like learn how to learn. Like yes. that's why you're in school. Mm -hmm. And it's something that if you continue doing, then you can bring it into your future career, your passions. And, um, yeah, it's just, and, and, and that is it. You can tell that what you do is a labor of love. Like yes. you, you love what you do, but you also, you do put in a lot of hard work. And, sure. um, you know, that's that's another great thing is that, um, you know, so many people think, oh, someone can just get lucky or things just happen for them. But but it's not that. Like, there's a lot that goes in behind it. I mean, it's very similar to, you know, like a, a band or, you know, someone mm -hmm. who makes it big. Well, they didn't just go from, like, sitting on their couch to now they have a number one hit. You know, there was a lot of work behind it. And the same for, for you and your business. Like you said, Absolutely. you're constantly learning new um, new skills and new things that you can bring to to the next vehicle. Yes. So, so um, okay, so tell us a little bit about, so you don't just do vehicles though, correct? No. Okay. So to, to give a little backstory, um, I, I have a couple specialties. Okay. You know, I, I know that um, to set myself apart, and I learned this very early in my career doing this, uh, I I think anybody can learn how to detail. You know, we're we're talking about learning. Right. Um, I don't want to say it's a, you know, not proficient skill to learn. I th I think everybody should learn to a degree. You know, you clean your house all the time. Yeah. You spend more time in your car commuting than you do in in a single room in your home. Besides besides sleeping in your bed. Right. Um, I think it's just as important to to learn how to clean your car, or of course pay somebody like myself to do it. Yeah. Um, but, you know. When when I was still out of my parents' garage back in 2018, 2019, um, I actually had a company called IGL Coatings reach out to me. Uh, it's a ceramic coating company. And what what we do with that is we add a layer of protection to a vehicle on top of the clear coat that kind of acts like a bubble okay. to shield from the environment. Um, it, it preserves the paint. Okay. It It adds a layer of gloss that's absolutely unbelievable you you would think the car looks fake when it's outside yeah i i say it a lot when when cars leave the garage out of my shop yeah you know i i cringe a little bit when i see it pull onto the road because i'm <laughs> like that is such a perfect example of something that looks like it should be in a museum because it's so clean it's so shiny yeah you know times and times over what it looks like when it comes out of the factory we're we're essentially adding layers to the paint and this is a long-term thing so you can kind of think of it like uh, everybody's familiar with wax. You wax mm -hmm. your car. This is like that on steroids. Okay. <laughs> so we have, you know, up to five years this can last on your car. Wow. Um, it's very chemical resistant. So any bird droppings or just any environmental things that might cause damage to your car on yeah. a regular basis, they slide off the car. Okay. Water slides off the car. Dirt slides off the car. Wow. So, so it sounds like for someone like myself who owns my vehicle. Yes. It's it's kind of like a must do. <laughs> I would I would consider it almost like a long term investment. Yeah. You know, if you purchase your vehicle, uh, you don't want it three to, three years down the road to look dingy. Right. You know, especially living in Michigan, mm -hmm. today's a perfect example of the yep. weather. Yep. It's sloppy <laughs> out. They're salting the roads. They've got calcium chloride down, which is a very caustic chemical. Um, it's very high up on the pH scale, and and that eats away at things, and um, this prevents that. Okay. Especially in a climate where we're at. You know, but it, it's good for any climate. You know, I do, I do a lot of sports cars and classic cars that maybe see 200 miles on the road a year, if that. Okay. And and I still think it's worth it to do those because, yeah. Again, it's the preservation aspect of things. Right. Right. And and so it's 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 essentially like a shell that you put on your car that's going to protect it for years to come. Or you know, I have six month coatings, I have one year coatings, I have three year coatings, and I have five year coatings. So really, it's uh. I, I consider it more budget dependent. Okay. You know, looking what you're what you're trying to spend to get your car looking to a, a certain point, and uh, you know that's why I do a lot of consultative sales. Okay. I have everybody come in for a consultation with their vehicle. We we check it over very thoroughly. We measure the thickness of the paint. We look at it through um, different inspection lights of different colors and 
you know, I could get really into that, but, yeah. <laughs> but that's probably for another time. That would be an extra hour of yeah. time. Um, <laughs> well, we'll have you back to go yeah, into a little yep, more detail yep, on that. Yep, okay. Yep. <laughs> um, so, so, so to backtrack, you know, I, I, I got approved uh, to install these coatings from this company. They, they looked mm -hmm. into, um, if you want to call it my resume, mm -hmm. uh, essentially the, the portfolio of, of vehicles that I have worked on and, and my skill set at that time. Yeah. And uh, they, they very much wanted me to be an installer for them. And I kind of just took that to the moon. Um, I, I saw the benefits of it. I, I heard a lot of people saying in the beginning that it was snake oil. Okay. <laughs> you know, a lot of people say, oh, you're snake oil salesman. Right, right. Not, not yeah. me, but it's, it's a phrase. Yes. Um, yeah. and, and I consider it to be real snake oil. Yeah. You know, it's, it's something that you, you hear all these crazy benefits about it. And you don't believe it until you see it in person. Yeah. It's it's really insane. And, you know, it's one of those things, if I didn't believe in it, I wouldn't sell it to the public. Right. And right. so I did my own research with it. I did my own testing on my own vehicles, my family's vehicles, which, yeah. you know, they were very grateful yeah. and more <laughs> yeah. than willing to let right. me detail their cars Absolutely. for free. Oh, you want to test it out? Yeah. Uh, yeah go Feel right free. ahead. That's yeah. totally fine. So, you know, that's how yeah. I got started with that. Yeah. Um, And and from there, I, I learned about the versatility of these coatings. So, yeah. I, so I say they're... You know, they're they're so self cleaning mm -hmm. that I was like, where else can we apply these? And you know, I'm not a chemist by any means, but I, I looked into the structure of exactly what I'm working with. Yeah, and it it really works with almost any substrate. So okay. what I started doing about two years ago is marketing it as something that would be uh, really good for in home applications. Okay. So I do a lot of uh, bathrooms, like. Last shower stalls. If you have a well oh, and you have hard water yeah. or water spots, you know. No I mean, really any shower. Really any shower. You <laughs> I know. mean, I, I have a glass shower door, and it, you know, you get tired of squeegeeing exactly. that after every shower. <laughs> you know, it's 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 part of a habit that a lot of people yeah. forget to to squeegee the shower and yeah. stuff. This makes it so you know there might still be some hard water that sticks, but the difference is when you go to clean it, it takes almost zero effort. Oh. So we do a lot of glass. We do a lot of windows. Okay. Um. Even solar panels. I've done a lot of solar panels, and and I did that after we did research on them. You know, we did. Uh, I I did a camper. I ceramic coated a camper, and it had two big solar panels on the top. So okay. I said, I won't charge you for this, but I would like you to be a test dummy for me. Yeah, it, it's a client who very much trusts me, and you know, I I I went ahead and I ceramic coated one of the solar panels because he had them linked differently. Okay, so they were both on their own circuit. He could tell how much power output each one was making. Mm -hmm. The one that was ceramic coated, like I said, it's got self-cleaning properties. So that one always stayed clean. It produced 20% more power wow. than the other one that was not ceramic coated wow. because it was never dirty. Right. It yeah. Because always you figure, clear. yeah, like, you know, even just rain, like, in, you know, exactly. they can collect and cloud. Refraction and, and whatnot. Yeah. You know, it, it very much affects the uh, absorption of, of okay. UV rays. And, yeah. and when something's clean and dry all the time, mm -hmm. it's got a much better chance. And especially... Uh, with the weather we're having yeah. <laughs> today, you want to soak up as much sun as you can if, if you're relying on solar power for sure. Right. Um, but, you know, not just glass. We've done quite a few granite countertops. Okay. You know, obviously, granite is very strong. Right. But it is porous. Yep. It can stain. It, it can be hard to clean at times. Yeah. And, well, and uh, you're supposed to seal granite. I don't think most people yes. do, but you're supposed to seal exactly. it yearly, exactly. annually. And yeah. So. I, I would say about 98 point. Yeah, one hundred percent of people don't really. It's know the reason that. I went with quartz. I was like, "What's yes. the low maintenance option?" Exactly. That's for me. <laughs> exactly. I would suggest people stay away from, uh, yeah. you know, certain marble and travertine and and those kinds of stone for right. countertops because you could. I've I've Very seen uh, I've seen crazy things happen with yeah. it. But I'll I'll say this. Um, I have a client who's got a white travertine counter in their kitchen, mm -hmm. and his his wife unfortunately spilled a, a whole bottle of wine on it, oh. and it caused a crazy stain on one side of it. Um, so, so he had it, you know, professionally by a stonemason, polished it back down and, yeah. and, and fixed it for him. But he was like, I never want that to happen again. Yeah. He was like, that was traumatic to, to a degree. Yeah. You know, I was like, I, I thought I was gonna have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars for a new, new countertop in my yeah. kitchen. And so I said, let, let me try something for you. This was, this was the first time that I did a, a stone countertop with this coating. Okay. And, uh, I was like, I was like, this is going to sound scary, but. Once I do this, I want you to let it cure for about three days, mm -hmm. and then I want you to have your wife pour wine on it again. <laughs> He's and like, exactly. His heart dropped a little bit. What? He was like, he was like, you want me to do what? Yeah. I was like, just trust me, and I want you to record it. I want yeah. you to record your and your wife's reaction, and let me know what happens. 
Yeah. And he was like, okay, Anthony, I trust you. I said, all right. Okay. So he, he calls me about a week later, sends me the video, and he says, Anthony, can you ceramic coat everything in my house that's <laughs> possibly available every, to ceramic coat? Every surface. He yeah. said, when we poured that red wine on that white porous stone countertop, yeah. it beat it up like no other it made wow. these, these beads of water wow. and he said he could blow them around on the table and it looked like the the wine was like rolling oh my god and he just wiped it up with the count with, wow. with the with the rag so, and it was done so i'm making my list right now anthony of all the things i'm like uh yep. so if anybody needs to sell a house i'm gonna need to sell a few extra houses yes. to have a, <laughs> to have anthony or if anybody my... buys a house and they want things protected <laughs> right right yes. there you go. but you know oh. it's uh it, it's it's just something that makes life easier. Yeah. If you don't want to spend your entire Sunday cleaning your car for three hours, yeah. like, you know, I, I do uh, I do a lot of Corvettes for for different Corvette clubs in the area. Yeah. And uh, I'll just say the demographic of the Corvette clubs is a little bit older than me, maybe mm-hmm. triple my age. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> but they love their cars. They're, yeah. they're hardworking guys who, yep. you know, worked their whole life to, to own that Corvette. Yeah. And so they appreciate it a little more than the average car owner. Um, but the difference is a lot of those guys can't really get out and spend the time washing their car like they would like to. Right. So, uh, and that, that was another thing that I wanted to test. The the first uh, gentleman that I came across who was high up in a Corvette club, I asked him, you know, I'll do this for my cost. I, I won't charge you the full price for this, but I, I want you to see just how much easier this is going to be for you. I said, I want you to wash it, take your time as you normally would. But I want you to time it. You know, don't don't let that rush you. But I want you to yeah, see just, how long it normally see. takes yeah. you. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, it was about an hour forty five. It took him. And then I said, now that I have everything ceramic coated, we ceramic coated all the glass, all the paint, all the door jams. We ceramic coated the leather on the inside. Wow. Like I said, how many hours? How many hours does that take? A lot. I was like, I mean, because I'm just thinking of every little. Yep. You know, I mean, there's so every little crevice many. gets ceramic coated. Wow. You know, I don't, uh, I, I might do it a little bit differently than other companies do, but I, every surface that I can see and every yeah. surface that you can't see, I make sure I ceramic coat it. I have different tools that, uh, help me get into crevices. I have, I have, uh, coatings that can be sprayed in a paint gun. So if there's, you know, crevices that I can't quite reach, even with right. my, my smaller tools, yeah. I can spray the coating in those areas. And I would say, you know, on a, on a car a uh, sedan sized vehicle, I spend an average of about 20 hours. And wow. so, you know, once you get into the bigger vehicles, like a, like a big truck is usually around 30 hours. Um, but it's, it's worth the time. Yeah. It's very much worth the time. You know, I, I set those expectations with the client every time I let them know, you know, this is what's going to be happening. Yeah. I, I kind of walk them through the process as if they were there with me yeah. without being annoying about it. Of yeah. course, you know, <laughs> well, I, yeah, I send no. pictures and videos and things as I'm going. So I would, I would think, happening. I would think that, you know, the majority of your clientele actually really appreciates those because yes. it's almost like not to compare like a, a, a non-living being to a being, but like, right. People who have their dogs, right. Or mm-hmm. their pets and they love to like, you know, if they're at the doggy daycare, get the update. So exactly. I can imagine that, you know, exactly. they're like, Oh, <laughs> well, same yeah. same thing. You know, I, I recently got a cat and yeah. and while we couldn't quite pick it up yet, it's actually a perfect analogy that you yeah. said that um, we were every day looking forward to the photos of, of you know, the cat growing up and, and whatnot until we were able to go pick him up. Yeah. And this is actually kind of similar to that. Yeah. You know, it's like uh, it's like waiting, waiting for Christmas. You know what you're getting, but yeah, but you just kind of want to peek at it. And uh, so I don't, I don't reveal the the whole thing. I just kind of teasers of like, here's the quarter panel. Here's yeah, what it looks like. Yeah. I don't, I don't reveal the whole thing until the client gets there. Um, but, I, but just enough to, to let them know what's going on and, you know, make sure they know I'm not just sitting on the couch eating Cheetos right. and I'm putting that time <laughs> yeah. into their car. Yeah, no, and, they're de- you're definitely not doing that. And right. I have seen um, so many of your before and after photos yep. um, because if you follow, you know, I, you, you post them on social media, mm-hmm. Facebook, Instagram, and um, it is amazing to see some of them. It's like, wow, like some, it, they don't even look like it's the same vehicle. Right. Like you're like, how is it possible that that is this? Yep. So, Yeah. And a lot of those uh, before and afters we're talking about involve paint correction, okay. which is uh, it's a it's a term that a lot of people don't quite understand. It's just a fancy way of saying we're polishing the paint okay. to as perfect as we can get it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's kind of a part of my ceramic coating process. OK. It's not necessarily uh, 
something that has to happen. But what I say is when we're essentially putting a shell over the car when we're putting that ceramic coating on. Yeah. So any defects, any scratches or anything that are in the paint, they're going to be underneath that. Right. So, you know, I always say, in my opinion, if this was my vehicle, yeah. what I would want to do is get it as perfect looking as possible right. before we seal it in. That way it stays looking that way for one year, three year, five years, however long uh, your, your coating, your coating. Is, is made to last. And I I, I think it makes a, a world of a difference. Yeah. So yeah. It's, yep. Well, it, it makes sense. It's like, yep. well, we have, we have a saying, you know, with when when people remodel or update homes, you know, did somebody put lipstick <laughs> lipstick on a pig, right? Which means we say you that. Know, too. You, oh, you say it too. <laughs> okay, see, it's it's a very All the time. yeah, very flexible saying. Yep. So right, so that makes sense. Like you you don't want to just slap on a coating, you yes. know, unless you have done everything to make it exactly what it could be underneath. So. And just like remodeling a house, yeah, everything's in the prep work. Yeah. If, if you don't if you don't do your due diligence in prep, things are going to go wrong. Yeah. You know, if, if you build a house yeah. and you don't have a moisture barrier, two or three years right. down the road, you're going to have you're going to have some serious issues. Yeah. And it's very similar to cars. If I don't do the proper prep work, you know, people will think I'm crazy, but I spend about three and a half hours average washing a car before we even think about getting to any kind of uh, polishing or ceramic coating services. I need to make yeah. sure that I'm working with the most defect free paint that we can. And that extra prep goes goes miles in terms of, you know, making sure we get the longevity that, that the coating is supposed to be. Yeah. You know, you don't, you don't want to do a, like a, a half, half done prep job and charge somebody for a full price on a five-year ceramic coating. And then two years down the road, they're like, this doesn't really look like it's supposed to. It looks like it's not doing what it's supposed to anymore. And it's like, well, that's because it wasn't prepped the right way. So, right. so we make, make sure, you know, there's a, there's a very standard operating procedure that I follow that I've every month or so I kind of go back and I revise it when I learn new things. Like I said, I'm always learning. Yeah. And I'm always trying to perfect that uh, process of how I get things done. Yeah. And, you know, that that has helped me to stay consistent with my work. I've at this yeah. point, knock on wood, I've <laughs> never had a car come back with a with a what we call a failed coding. OK. Um, because from day one, I've made sure that, you know, that was my priority was to make sure it's done the right way. Right. And. And that's all I do. Well, and I think that's why you've become so successful in your business and it's grown so much in what, about five, six, six years? Yeah, about about that. Yeah. Yep. So, um, yeah. And it's because of your passion. It's because your clients, like you said, they trust you because they know that you are going to put in the care and attention and you have the attention to detail um, as if it were your own vehicle as well. Exactly. And you want them to feel good about coming and, um, you know, having their car taken care of. Very much so. By you. Yeah. So, well, is there anything else, anything else you want to share? We, we definitely are going to have to have you back sometime because I feel like there's so much more that we can talk about. <laughs> I have I have so much to say. I could, I could sit yeah. here for eight hours and, and educate uh, educate the public on, yeah. you know, what I do and why it's important to we'll, take we'll, care of your we'll car We'll have you that. come back. Yes, that's what we'll do. We'll I'd have you come back. back and we'll do an episode where you can give some, you know, car care tips for, sure. you know, anybody out there, you know, just. Absolutely. So, yeah. And then we could even, you know, if. If you're watching this and, and you want to comment, you, if you have a specific question that you'd like me to answer, yeah. I mean, I'm an open book. And what I always say, too, is if I don't know the answer to something, I'll find out. Yeah. And then I'll research it and I'll have a good answer for you. Um, but but something I'll leave you guys with is um, so I do have a brick and mortar shop now. I'm in mm -hmm. Auburn Hills. Uh, we have a very nice climate controlled facility, which is yeah. which is another uh, really big attribute to ceramic coatings working the right way is making sure that we're controlling everything, temperature, humidity. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, the prep process and everything. Uh, but I wanted to say, too, I sell a full line of car care products out of my shop. So if you're somebody who's a do-it-yourselfer, come in. I can I can walk you through whatever questions you might have. If yeah. you're saying, you know, I'm, I'm having issues with this with my car. If, if you're somebody who likes to detail your own car, yeah. I have the products to help you do that. And I'm more than happy to answer any questions you to can, get you in the right yeah, place. Yeah, consult on, you know, helping those who, who want to, you know, if there's somebody who wants to do it for themselves. Absolutely. So that's fantastic. Yep. So, well, thank you so much for thank joining you for me, me, Anthony. I'm so glad. Like, it took four years I know. when we got you here. We've been talking about it for so long. <laughs> I I'm, know. I'm, I'm I know. so very grateful that it, that it oh. worked out, that our schedules worked. And uh, I'd love to come too. back and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what people say. If, yeah. If, if they've got questions, I'd love to answer them. 
Um, I already, I already have some things in my head for next time that we can talk about. So sounds good. We'll, we'll, we'll start planning. We'll start planning our next perfect. episode. So. Sounds, sounds great to me. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It was my pleasure. Thank you so much for tuning in to Tea with Tracy. We'll see you next time.